back out again Friday night after work nights are drawn in be dark soon this time plan is quick one quick overnight up here somewhere right my lovers because somebody has to be at work tomorrow kind of yeah, I do. I gotta make money to keep earning me and the ways are customed. So tonight, very exciting. New tent. Fire Maple have made a new tent. We've gone from the cookware, which is brilliant by the way. Can't praise it enough. The cookware, I still use all these titanium pots and everything I've got from the uh, fire maple. It's really good stuff. They've built a tent anyway, two man job. It's called the Tropic. Oh, it'll be, title will be in the thumbnail. All the details in the description on how you get your hands on one, if you like it. So it's in the back. See the color, not everybody's cup of tea, but the, that color tent really blends in around here. This time of year especially. So it's a good autumn tent, two-man job. It's a bit windy up the top, so we'll see how it performs. Not sure if it's going to be rain, so do not, we'll not be able to test the rainproofness of it. We might though, unpredictable weather. It was raining when we turned up, so it might rain. But yeah, looking forward to trying it out. Just got to find the top of this hill. I think we've took the wrong path, me like. We've definitely gone the wrong way. Oh, she's miles away. <laughs> We've gone the wrong way, like. We're not going the wrong way. We are, we need to be up here. I said we should go we around the back there, but, but no. Fine. Anyway, so, that's it. Where's the dog? Oh, he's there. He's here, like. He's up my lab back side. Dog is here, he always. Running about like a madman. In the bog again. Bog of doom. Always in the bog. Worse than George Michael. <laughs> hey, yes, some. Yes, some George Michael. Always in the bog. Good. Yeah. Anyway, this is our destination here after Emma took her the wrong way I, I wanted way. to go up this way and she's like no no go around she's going round to the gate she Who's says the the me. me now to that to you oh <laughs> well, that's the that's the Queen of Scotty Road isn't it? Wow. all right anyway so this is the destination we're just hoping that this new tent is it looks similar in design to the MSR Elixir. Looks a similar shape. I think there's a few little differences. I just hope this is windproof. Also, you know when the um, when you get new tents and the guy lines aren't tied on. Oh, oh, I, hope that, that. I hope not. I hope they're tied on. I'm not going to get the tent off at night. Haven't had the um, haven't had the tent out of the bag yet. Never, never even tried it, never set it up. This is first time out the back, so we'll see. It's a good test because it's either going to be easy or hard. Looks easy, like. That's handy. So I've put that like that. Wind's blowing that way. So I don't know how it works, like, but we're going to try get it up so we can cook in the porch I might have to turn that way you know might have to go in a different way oh, we'll get it we'll sorted
Oh, I guess it's got the screen's gone off. Same on it. Yeah. So the fly sheet now. Close this door because the wind's just going straight in. We're just getting my stuff in. So the footprint, it's like the footprint only comes out on this side of the porch. It's not on that side, which I find odd, but doesn't really matter. Ugh. You see that the, the mesh door completely opens. Door up there. Look at the sunset. Aren't there? We've got pockets here, pocket there, pockets either side. There's already a flipping dragonfly in. So you've got the same sort of space as the MSR. A decent porch. A bit of cook in there, that's alright. Has these doors come out here? Oh, this is nice. The trekking poles to put up. There's a yeah. uh, gear storage up here. Up there. There was. Oh, they've got. It's got. Um, yeah, it's got ties. You tie it to the poles. Look. Just tie them to the poles. I very rarely use them. Like. Shall I tie them off? I don't know. Oh, I'll never use them. It's got a little hook for your lantern, which I didn't bring. <laughs> it's got vents up there. Ugh. I'm impressed with it. Feels nice. Feels well made. It feels, um, it doesn't feel like um, thin or choppy. No, it feels quite it feels good quality, good, doesn't it? Yeah, good quality. <laughs> I have got a list of all the specifications, like the hydrostatic head and all that, but I haven't got it with us. That'll all be in the description. All the links. I think the weight of it is uh, 3.2 or something like that. And if you split the poles, that pole is heavy because it's all, it's the hub, is like all that is one pole. It's all joined together. So that is quite a bit of the weight. So if you split the weight, the actual tent itself weighs nothing. All the weight's in the pole. So that's all right. It feels quite solid. The vents up here. These little stick things. Vent it like that. 
Oh, the wind's got me dying. It's cold, man. It's cold. Autumn is here now. But we're just watching the sun setting over here. Lovely. If you watch Emma's Adventures video, she did a time lapse of that while I was mucking about with this. But yeah, we'll come back and we'll we'll see how we get all the gear in. See what it's like inside. But first impressions are very good. I like it. I like the colour. That's lovely. Isn't it? Never thought I'd like a tent that colour, but that's nice. Yeah. Once the actual real autumn comes, that'll properly blend in. Right. So I've got it set now. A bit better. There's the dog's bed in there. He'll go in there. Dog, he'll not, he'll not move from there. This door, I'll show you on the other side. <sighs> Look at the way it pulls out. That porch wraps around like that so you can cook in there. And then when you're finished, you just unpeg it and zip it up. Look at that. Look at all the space in there for cooking. Look at that. That's mint. And if we get in, if we get in. Look. Wow. Amazing. If you get your backpack in there. You've got all that space there. Look, there's my leg. And then like I say, this so this is sort of like on a hinge if you get me drift. It won't zip up shut there like that. So I have to unpeg it there and just bring it in. You just unpeg that and bring it in and then it'll close. And that's it. I haven't quite got it seated properly. I need to work on that. But that was because of the wind. The wind was a nightmare. So we'll get that sorted. Uh, up here, I'll have to do that. But yeah, I like this tent so far. So far, it is so good. Look what I've got as well. Eat the gloves. Ah, I have them switched on. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> it's just simple things in life, isn't it? Oh, I'm putting them on now because when she comes back, she'll pinch them. Oh, lovely. Don't forget to warm your hands up. Right, so uh, I'm gonna. We'll just fine tune everything, right? Because there's a couple of things I'm not quite sure about. But other than that, everything's good. Good and dandy. Just come for a wander. Let's see the vent. Might close the other one on the other side, it's billow in it. So we've got salmon fillets in tandoori oh, marinade. Gotta forgot the bloody oil again, didn't I? Let's turn them over. Keep them turning. Some iceberg. Onion, onion and peppers. And some pita pockets. Pita pita pockets pick the pat pickle pretentious prittle prattle. Garlic and herb meal. Down a bit. Really, I'm drinking Pepsi Max. <laughs> Alright. Nah, it's this cooking. Here we go, anyway. Salmon's nice and going nice and pink inside. It's when it's, uh, it's not got that lucid looking colour to it. That's what you want. Ah! And veggies are in. Veggies are in. I'll say that again without slurring my words. The veggies are reducing down. So I've broken up into a few bits because I'm going to load up the uh, the pitas. So you have two, some veg, and then the lettuce and, and the meal. And then you can have two of them. 
And they're all here ready. Pockets. And look at this. <laughs> Don't look at this line in bed at 8 o'clock. Are you enjoying yourself while I'm doing all the graft? Yeah, I'm loving my life. It's great. You're always grafting. Always. always cooking for us. I'm just catching up on social media to see how my <coughs> friends are. Social media. So yeah. So when this this door's out, I can use this porch like a big porch. But when you want to zip it up, it won't zip together when it's stuck out like this. So I'm gonna have to pull that peg out. There's a peg there. Just peg it there, and then just zip it together, and that'll do. So you can have the door out and have your huge porch. But when you're finished, you've got to unpeg it and put it together. Otherwise, it won't close. But it's like that with most tents, isn't it? Right. So anyway, I've loaded up. Would you like um Peter? Um, um Pata. Um Peter bread. I can't do it with two hands. Yeah, one hand. So the user imagination. That's what it's like. I'm going to get fired into these and then just chill out a bit. There you go. Welcome back to Waking Up With Bordel. Yes, it's me, Ends Adventure. Here's Misery Goats. <laughs> Are you having a good night? No. Why? Because I'm not. What's the matter with you? I've got no beer. I want beer. Yeah. No impressions tonight. No one? No, I'm going to bed. It's 8 o'clock and I'm going to bed. He's bloody not going to bed at 8 o'clock. I asked, oh, why haven't you not got the diffuser on here? There, that's better. So, we're in the tent. It's 10 o'clock. We've had a lovely tea. And I just thought I'd jump on and say hello because I feel like none of you, you haven't seen as much tonight because he's been faffing about with this lovely tent and it is a lovely tent it's a couple of things that need tweaking I like not pitching it and flipping howling gale for the first time right so it started raining mm -hmm. and the wind was blowing but you see in the beginning and mm -hmm. I haven't pitched the fly shoot properly mm -hmm. so it's off centre and it's annoying you, isn't it? It's really annoying because this porch is dead small now. Yeah. But it's my fault. It's not your fault, it's the wind's fault. It was the weather. I did rush it like, but uh, I mean, it went up all right. I can see how it should have went. But it just, I couldn't do it because of the rain and the wind. So and get it's out of bugging it. you, isn't it? It's just frustrating. The weather's just frustrating. So yes, I've, um, had a, yeah, but I mean, I've had a grand night, me. I'm not that bothered if he's had a good night or not, to be honest with <laughs> Smell my cheese. Whoa. They're not that bad, actually. You've got lovely clean feet, me. Yeah, he has got clean feet. I can highly recommend anybody go near his feet because he has got clean feet. Right, I'm going to go now because I'm waffling and he doesn't like it when I waffle on camera, so. Ta-ta for now. Nice to chat to you. And if you fancy seen this Ugh. night <laughs> here we go use my channel for your personal gains <laughs> you want... what did you say using my channel for your personal gains yeah who wouldn't um that's the only reason i'm with you man cut that out heated gloves <laughs> these are really good the heated gloves aren't really they really hot now i'm gonna have to take them off actually can i have them then mm -hmm. Right. But you have to. Right. Let me put the heater glove. Look how big my hands are now. What are we on here? 70, 75%. 70%. So these are so warm. You have to sleep them on out. They've been on like about two hours. Mm -hmm. Non used one bar. Mm -hmm. Right, that's it then. <laughs> So here we are, in, we're in, 
Right. Cover your eyes, okay. Apple. Ah, too bright, it's too bright. Oh, I need that. I need the diffuser. Yeah, we should have the sunglasses on. Every, everything sounds better with sunglasses. Mm. Anyway, look, Queezer quilt. Queezer quilt. Don't have to promote Queezer, them anymore, Queezer, but these, Queezer, Queezer. these were great up at uh, Sky. Oh, yeah, Sky. Like Spot on. I didn't use mine, like, but anyway. I did. This is a. Uh, we decided this is a three season tent, right? Because it's all mesh in it. It's completely mesh. To the floor. Uh, right down to the floor. And there's gaps underneath for the ventilation, so it's... It's drafty. Bit of a draft coming in, shall we say. So I think Fire Maple, if you're watching this, which you should be, better be, half, half solid inner. At least half solid. Oh, I'm seeing that. Oh no, it is mesh. It's got a, quite a high bathtub like, but that's not really doing the trick. I think the mesh needs to come up about there. All the way around. Just want to think about like, if you want it to be a four season tent. Other than that, it's all right. I mean, it's tight for two, but it's doable. We have got a lot of gear. I've got the backpacks in the porches. There's a dog in that porch. So, I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's cosy. Yeah. That's all we say. I'm proper cosy. I'm nearly, fall nearly falling asleep. Maybe it's because of the crack. It's just... There's no crack because I'm not a drink. There's plenty of crack. What are you on about? There's loads of crack. I'm That's doing Terry crack. Wogan impressions. Yeah, I you do. Oh, God, Terry. Yeah, I'll try to need there. Do pass now. <laughs> Gaza? I oh, can't do Gaza. No, go on. No, I'm not doing Gaza, man. Not, not funny. <laughs> Gaza's not funny. I, I played for Italy. <laughs> I did. I played for Italy. Gaza's funny. Not nice. Not nice. So. Hello. Gaza's not the man he used to be. I've just emerged from my, my cocoon. Oh, I get back with you. Camera's on yeah. and she's out. I'm out. Camera's here. I'm out. Camera. Right, what I was saying earlier before oh. he cut us off, right? If you want to see oh. a video from my point of view of tonight, hop over on the M's underscore oh, that's adventure. Right. Use my channel to promote your own yeah. misgivings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'll help you get subs. What's the name of your channel again? M's underscore adventure. You better not turn that off. Gaza. Do you that? No. Oh. Right, so that's it from the tent of doom. It's not the tent of doom. Oh, it might be. I like the I like the uh, the loft the gear storage up there. I do. I've got loads in that. Even though we haven't put anything in it now. No, I did, but it dropped to the floor, didn't it? Yeah, it comes down, hangs down. Does it? It's hang cozy. Up? It's cozy for a two man, right? I mean, cozy, which is all right. But for a one man, oh, that would be nice. It would be a palace. Loads of room. Absolute palace. Wouldn't it? Yeah. And I'm going to practice putting it up properly out of the wind as well. Because that was a bloody farce. Oh, that. God. It was oh, the wind. Honestly, it was. You, well, you, could, you saw how bad it was. Oh, it was ridiculous. And it, putting a tent up for the very first time in that wind was not the brightest of your ideas. Like, it wasn't meant to be windy. Was it? Alright, we're going to bed night. Good night. See you in the morning for the See you bye. We'll see you in the morning for the it's morning. It's actually the morning and Dolly Parton and all that. Nine to five. Thank you it. <laughs> morning Jack and Jill and Co. Here we are, we had a, uh, we had a flappy night in the tent. My fault entirely this like for not for just rushing it up and that it was just a bit flappy, that's all. But to be fair to the tent, right? The wind got up, didn't it? Get wild. Yeah, it, did. it got wild and never gave I it. mean I was oblivious to it. So. I, I wasn't, I was out. <laughs> I was up out checking the guy lines, but it was mint, it was spot on. I knew I was safe. It was uh, inside. There was no like, there was no panels coming in or anything. 
I was flapping, but that was uh, that was just the wind was really really strong. I'd say that was about 30 mile an hour last night. Like, oh, it was mad. Woke us up, and it was pushing that door in. That panel there was getting pushed in. But that's because we're directly in the wind, and Emma made us set it up wrong. Emma didn't make us set it up. No, it was the wind and the rain made us set it up wrong. So this seam here, oh, I'm going to fall. This seam here needs to come over a bit, just a bit, like, to match that. See the hub? So it's not far off. I think I did well, considering the conditions. And then the guy lanes just tighten up. But no, it was good. It was all right. And the wind, it never lost its shape. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we've walked to a lovely sunrise. Dog's happy. He's been locked up all night. Sick of his life. Are you sick? Come up. Come up. Dance. Dance for the camera. Yeah. I was doing it before. Knew it. Knew he wouldn't. Nice. Right, so this is the sunrise. I'm going to get the kettle on. And a nice cup of coffee. And then we're heading down that way. Too oh, chilly though. It's a bit chilly. The autumnal bite. I think they call that. All right, well, we've cleared all the stuff out. Look at all the spiders in the tent. Oh, spiders in the tent. This is the space. Like I say, big enough for two, cozy for two. It's perfect for one. All mesh, there's no condensation, mind. There's not a drip of condensation. That's probably because of the wind, like. Oh, the spiders have got to get off because they might come home with me. Don't want that. There's the porch again, I've pulled it out again. Big porch. Don't forget, you gotta take that peg out and that peg out when you zip it shut. It leaves a smaller porch, but you, you don't need a big porch when you're going to kip, there. And if it does rain and you're socked in, it's big enough to cook in. There's an example of the porch there. That hasn't been pegged, so that's how big it is. You use that for your cooking. That side for your cooking, this side for storage. Did you enjoy your night in the tent? Loved it. Did you, bud? I did, I loved it. I'm going to bring earplugs next time. Why? Because I was up all night listening to the wind blowing. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear a thing. I was listening to the I wind blowing. I had earplugs you could have had. Uh, you should have just asked. Wardle, now you tell us. Now you tell us. This is, what I hope, this is what I'm up against. Right, so anyway, we're nearly packed. <laughs> we're nearly packed, so... We'll take the tent down, see how it goes back in the bag. I mean, it's been like a tent review this, but it's also been a nice wild camp. With some nice cooking. Camp. Cooking and some skills. With, well, with the tent, look, you get the pegs. You get pegs. Little, little Y pegs. And you get spare guy lines in there as well. There's a couple of spare guy lines in there. It actually gives you instructions how to pitch it. So you can have the porch, if you've got walking poles, you can have this door up, like a canopy. I have brought my walking poles, but because it was so windy, I didn't bother. Because it might have took off. It's nice, this is uh, the east coast of Northumberland. Well, oh, didn't take long to put it away. The wind is just not helping though. It's billowing the tent everywhere. Oh, man, the weather is awful. The wind is terrible. I hate the wind. You might have gathered that way. Like. But that's it, look. There's nothing. We were just here. Nice the trick. So we're off nice and early. We've took the rubbish with us. We've got bonds up. Yeah, come and say hello. It's a real bugger. Did you enjoy that? Hey, right. loved it. Loved every minute of it. Do you like dags? I like dags. I like dags. Don't like people like that. No, I do like people. Like dags, hills, and tents. Yeah.
I don't like people. Got me weird hat on with a mouse chewed it. <laughs> so we're off. Oh man, the wind's got me got me beat this wind like I can't bear it. So if you like the tent, have a look at the link. If not, well, if it's not for you, it's not for you. I would suggest you use it as a one-man tent, be mint. But like you saw last night, you get two people in. We have a lot of stuff as well, so and a dog. So that's uh, that's a marker for ten. Don't know how much it is. Don't see the price. And that's it, really. See you on the next one. So as the great. Lemmy from ACDC said, let's get rock and roll out of here on the highway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs>